So we have another uh, interesting update for Rise Droid custom room is our version 8.6 and as far as I know this room is now giving a third update in just one month so yeah, of course it's kind of weird but that's absolutely fine my job is just to show you that which are the new things added in this new version so let's just find out all those new things by the way with this new version version 8.6 we have some interesting changes stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end by the way it's still having the november security patch because december security patch while making this video is not available yet so with the december security patch maybe you will see rise toward version 8.7 but for now it's 8.6 and let's find out the changes which you have in this version the first change the first new thing just for the customization purpose is about power menu customizations it will give you some memories about android 7 android 8 times we have uh, this kind of power menu you don't have in android 12 or android 13 so this is the android 8 style if i check out the legacy android 7 style power menu okay this is how the ui is looking like so yes it will give you the memories of older android versions with this power menu we have grid style power menu available too let me show you how this ui is looking like this is how the ui it is screenshot restart power of all the options of course which you can customize if you want to and uh, last but not the least of course the default one let me show you the light which is the default android 12 or android 13 style so this is the ui which you have so these are the power menu customization options which you have available in this new version version 8.6 another change which we have here another new thing which is added is parallel space this is by default added let me show you by creating one space which means you'll be able to clone apps for more than i mean if you're using one app you want to clone that app in different environment want to use that app want to use some different accounts in that app you can do this very easily for example let me just enable magisk here magisk from here so if i move on to the home screen you can see we have two magisk options by the way this is just an app not magisk is installed two times it's just two two apps and two version of these apps and you can use whatsapp for that telegram or you can use any app for the by cloning that to the different environment and parallel space now you don't need to install a third party app for that simply move on to apps option parallel space and by the way you can create more than one two three or you can you simply use multiple instances of a different app so according to me this is great by the way this is not a new thing which is introduced in this one this was available in spark os previously too which you can use it previously by the way so we have scarlet services available in this new version which means you can enable this option which will basically increase systems performance and you can see power consumption also but if you want to save power you have the option for this aggressive idle mode so if you enable this option we'll be able to block the system alarm wake up system wake locks you can turn off the mobile data when these options are enabled these are the options to configure performance and battery backup both so yes things are available for you to customize to do explore these things you can install this version this is version 8.6 which might be officially or unofficially available for your device so if you want to install link is available in the description another change which i found here is in the themed icons now you can use custom themed icons like lawn icons are just one of the famous icon themed icons but if you, if you want to use rk icons which is of course by default installed i think so you have a dg icons so we have some team files icon pack of course themed icons are there many themed icons options are there and you can use any one of them so that's also one of the positive things about this but other than else no major changes are there like the default launcher is almost having the same features which were available previously too so i don't think so it makes sense to show you all these features you can simply check out briefly and other than else if you check out the some other options in recent i found this lens option which is a quite useful thing available previously too some miscellaneous option and else and some of the customizations some of the major changes or some of the useful features customizations which are available in personalization section you can simply install and explore all of these options so these were things i just want to let you know rise for version 8.6 is the third update as far as i know in this last 30 days so if you just don't want to use this thing you can wait for it i think so the 8.7 version or with december security patch the new update will be out 
मे बी इन लेस दैन अ वीक नॉट श्योर बट वेन एवर इट विल कम आई विल डेफिनेटली मेक अ वीडियो ऑन दैट एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गेट ऑल दीज कस्टम रोम्स वीडियोज अपडेट्स वीडियोज ऑन यूर डिवाइस चेक आउट अवर चैनल एंड मेक श्योर टू सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल फॉर ऑल ऑफ दोज न्यू वीडियोज एट सेक्टर एंड ऑल्सो मेक श्योर टू हिट द नोटिफिकेशन बेल आइकन to be notified for all of these things and this was all from today's short and simple video i think so you like this if you like this don't forget to like and share this goodbye